Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we are going to take a look in on my Red Wiggler and European Nightcrawler cocoon only bins that were started May 15th, 2019. Let's take a look at them and see what they're doing. These are the simplest of bins. You can see there's some condensation, so it's it's good and wet in there, but they don't have any holes, and they except for maybe like this one right here. Uh, they don't have any holes, I just very simply keep an eye on them. So let's take a look and see what they are doing. Alright, so these are the European Nightcrawlers. And, you know, they really are getting to be good size. Oop, and very sassy. So I did put a banana in here to see if we could find any sort of a worm ball or anything. So let me see what I get. Uh, that was kind of disappointing. They probably had quite a bit of apple goo left from before. Well, we'll just bury it back up and we'll I'll split it down the middle here and Maybe I'll have better luck next time. But let's see what we can find aside from that one sassy European nightcrawler. Okay, there's a different sassy one. So yeah, these guys are actually starting to really pick up, you know, some good size. So, probably going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me sit here and play with my worm colony here for too long, but I wanted to see what they are doing. guys well that's me looking and playing around in the European nightcrawler bin I'm just gonna use that as my marker I'm starting to question if this is in fact cotton because in the months that I've had this in here I have not seen any any sign of it breaking down which you know makes it a good marker because I don't have to worry about it disappearing on me and not knowing things went all right, well, let me go wash my hands, and we will go look at the Red Wigglers. All right, let's look at the European, nope, Red Wigglers. I also put a banana in there for them, so maybe they will have moved into there a little bit more. Kind of put my little marker there, and we can put the worms up there when we find them. Okay. Still not a lot of interest in the banana. Seems to be the typical red wiggler size that I'm finding in here. All different sizes, all in relation to those being the larger of the group.
thinking about getting one of those under the bed probably mentioned that before haven't really found any you know proper you know under the bed storage things that are just really big but they're really flat if anybody knows where you find those where I can pick them up I don't really want to pay shipping on it or anything but you know if they're at Walmart or Target or, or whatever let me know in the comments below if you've seen any of those so these guys are also doing very well they are just they're I mean they're smaller to begin with even under the best of circumstances they're smaller than the European night crawlers so the fact that they're in relationship they're smaller it also is not a surprise but if I get that under the the bed thing then maybe I can find you know a way to have the next generation be a little bit bigger that these guys are reproducing they're doing just fine in here you know I don't looks like I found a little worm ball bit of apple goo left over from some time just gonna make sure that I get everything flipped over here really good so the air stays good because there are no holes except for the one that came with so they are making castings and I am keeping it rather wet in here I don't anticipate harvesting this anytime soon so it's not going to be a problem for me and the increased moisture at the very least the worms do seem to thrive more and it being a little bit more wet so long as it's not so wet that it becomes anaerobic so I just dug out the corner and you can see there's just a tiny little worm ball there so this is just used paper bedding junk mail etc have not done any leaves or anything with these guys yet all right well I don't know how exciting you found that whole thing but this is you know after these all came in cocoons in this tiny little bag here and they've been living in here ever since and, and you know if you follow the series for the cocoon only bin which I can link up here um, these guys have gone through a fair amount of food I'll have to go back and look and see exactly how much in volume or weight that I've been putting in here but even in this little tiny container um, which is five gallons uh, even in this tiny container they are taking care of quite a bit of waste you know a couple cups here and there and these guys do just fine that and a little bit of junk mail to keep it all suspended and keep it moving through and they're all they're fine you know I keep the I do put grit in here but it's mixed in with the prepared bedding I should do a video about that let me know if you want to see me make up a batch of bedding oops got a hanger on they are sneaky little guys But yeah, if you want to see me do a video of my prepared bedding that I just keep a stash running all the time, kind of a friendship cake, if you know what that is, uh, principle where you know I start with the microbes from a bin, and then I do use the bedding that I make, but then I also add more stuff in at the same time so that the microbes that are beneficial to the worm bin continue on and start breaking up the bedding before I ever give it to the worms all right guys well if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and you will be part of my little worm community uh, if you're not also have the little bell ringed you can ring that bell if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it all right guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day